Okay, so where we left off was uh, we were at the mix screen, and I'm going to uh, take this out of record um, so we don't have to deal with the reverb. And um, I just kind of went through and listened, and I panned my guitar to the right. I listened to the original track on stereo headphones, and I kind of studied what's left and what's right. And I put my guitar on the right side, and we've got this crash on the left. We created a master fader, which is the master volume for the whole song. I set the volumes for the um, harmony parts here. This is ground control to major tone. And we've got our crappy crash cymbal. Um, and I'm not going to worry too much about the drums right now because we're going to get into drums into a different lesson and we're going to use a better plugin than Expand. Expand is it's free and you, you get what you pay for. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I mean, it's, it's, it's great for being free. Um, all right. So now we're going to, let's just go ahead and put a bass part. So instead of uh, this whole Expand is taken up with all the drum tracks, let's add another track a new command shift n stereo instrument track and boom there it is we're going to name it and we're going to call it um well it's just going to be it's going to be the bass and key and keys all right and we're going to go up here we're going to add an expand multi-channel plugin instrument expand all right, and there it is. I'm going to put this track in record as opposed to this one. On this track, I think it's kind of a pick bass sound. So if I go to basses, I can go, uh, sorry, it's really kind of wonky. Basses, um, let's full pick bass. Let's do that on channel one. Let's go make this channel two. And there's kind of this oboe -y sounding kind of a thing. Um, I might be an oboe. Let's see what that sounds like in the original track. So we've got channel one and channel two. This instrument track is only playing the MIDI channel one. So we need to create another new track, Command Shift N. We're going to make it be a MIDI track. Sorry, not there. Right here. MIDI track doesn't matter if it's mono or stereo. It's just computer information. So it doesn't matter left or right. So we're saying, yes, create a MIDI track. This is going to be, we'll call it the oboe keys. And right here we tell it, hey, I want you to play expand channel 2. Now if we put this MIDI track in record, it's going to be triggering right there. So we told, so this is the input of a track, and this is the output of the track. Audio, this is the input, this is the output. So we're telling the output of this MIDI channel to go control expand channel 2 on this plugin and now if we listen to it so how do we make that have sound like a cooler effect down here there's effects 1 and effects 2 so I can say you know what make that bigger and now on this oboe sound let's bring up effects 1 still sounds like crap um, is it on ah it wasn't on the effect now we have the reverb. So we turned on the effect. We can also, if we want, turn on chorus. Or we can make this be a delay, a ping pong delay. And then we have to turn up this. Let me turn this off so you can hear just the delay. So there's the delay. Um, I don't know that we want delay. Maybe I'll go back to um, the chorus that was on here. And let's crank it up a little bit more, and then let's add the reverb, turn it on. If we want a little, then we, we want to go to the bass part. Okay, so if we want a little reverb on that, we can just turn it up. Now we've got reverb on that. Um, so I'm going to save Command S, and now I just, just have to decide do I want to record the bass first? Or do I want to record the keyboard part? And this is, again, where you need to go back and forth to the um, for the keyboard part. You kind of have to listen to the orig original song. But I'm going to do the bass part. And again, this is where I go back to my chart. And I can move my, um, my uh, windows to 
get out of the way. We don't want that anymore. We'll get rid of that. Um, I'm hitting Command W to close windows. And I really don't need this window. Command W closes that window. And now I can take this and say, all right, now I can follow my chart. Here's my bass and keyboard MIDI track. And I know that the intro is F to E minor. Or just minors, you know, for bass it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to follow these root keys. And I listen to the track and it plays the keys on 1 and 3. So I've got my little keyboard thing here. And I'm going to start with F. And I'm going to um, just do that. I'm going to hit Command Save, Command S. And I'm going to hit Return to go back to the beginning. Not that. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go here, Command S. Hit return to go to the beginning, and then here we go. I'm going to say, you know what? Uh, we have too much of the intro, I think, before the vocal comes in, right? So if I just deleted that one, again, this is where I want to go into all mode. I want to double click on that, and it's not an even bar right here. This is where I want to go to grid mode, and I want to highlight from here to here. I've got an even four bars. I want to hold my shift key to make sure I'm using, I'm highlighting my markers. And I'm going to go to shuffle. And this is where I'm going to delete. And it's going to move the whole song forward and get rid of four bars. So now I'm going to save. And I'm going to get out of all. I immediately noticed I immediately got out of shuffle mode and went back to grid mode. And I hit return to go back to the beginning. And let's try that again. So now we have less of an intro. And here we go. Do I like the low part? I'm going to stick with the high part for now. I'm going to do it again. So you'll notice, this is a really good thing, that it's keeping the previous notes, and it seems like I'm playing on top of them. What the hell's going on? This is a really good uh, time to show you this thing on the transport window. Most of the time, you want this off. It's right here. It's called MIDI Merge. If you put your mouse over it, you'll see it says MIDI Merge. What that means is it's going to keep recording on top of MIDI. It's not going to race over. It's going to add to it which most of the time you really don't want. So turn MIDI merge off. And now it's going to just keep recording over it, just like the vocals tracks that we recorded did. I'm going to get this E minor thing out of the way. And I'm going to go back here, get that C out of the way, move. Ah, oh, crap ass. Sorry. OK, there. Shit. OK, there we go. Um, I'm going to save. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to give this another go. So off we go. far and uh, there's a couple screw ups but we can fix it so this is where I go to notes mode instead of this is clips you see where it says clips right here I'm gonna make that into notes and now where'd my notes go we just need to scroll down to see them 
And then I also just want to make this bigger. And then the first thing I'm going to do is quantize. Remember what quantize was. I'm going to highlight this. Quantize is fix it to the beat. And it's under, it's command, it's option zero. Option zero. And I'm going to say, let's go ahead and fix it to the, it's, we want it to be quarter notes. Let's go ahead and make it 100%. And we say, okay, apply. And you can see, let me undo that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Watch when I hit apply again. Let me move this out of the way. And now watch the notes move. You see it moved them right on the beat. So I can go through and see where I messed up. There's a mess up, see right there. I can see I played a note. How do I get rid of that? I grab the hand tool, the trim, the whatever it's called, and I can just draw a box around it. I can also click on it and hit delete. And I'm going to zoom out. And I know I screwed up somewhere here too. So, and also when I made, when I got rid of that bar of um, the four bars of guitar, my markers got messed up. So I'm going to fix that too. I'm going to go right here. And I'm just doing this stream of consciousness, kind of the way I, I work. So you can just kind of see work in progress. So actually, the song starts, if you can see here, the vocal comes in. This is ground control. This is supposed to be verse one right there. So on the marker track, I'm going to highlight, oops, undo. I'm going to highlight four bars. Does, and there it is. There's four bars right there. I just need, I just need four bars. And then I'm going to go to shuffle mode and I'm going to delete. Watch this. Bam. Now my markers, I'm going to get out of shuffle mode immediately. Now my markers are correct. I'm going to go back to the um, selector tool and now you'll see my markers are lined up. So we are up to the, uh, I guess, what uh, I'm, I'm going to punch in on take your protein pills. And so go ahead and you guys finish your bass part and then let's come back and we'll do the keyboard part. Don't just punch in and give yourself, make, remember to turn pre-roll on and off. So if I'm going to punch in here, pre-roll is command K. I'm also going to turn on one bar post-roll because that screwed us up earlier. Command K, you'll see that's highlighted. And I'm going to punch in at protein pills. I'll just show you real quick before I let you go. And I'm going to get my chart back in front of my face. And I'm going to scroll down to take your protein pills. So it's the A minor right here. And then I can get this out of the way so I can see right there. Take your protein pills. Save. Command spacebar to record. I'm going to click right. I'm going to go to, to slip mode so I can be a little bit right here. I don't want to be right on the beat because I'm probably not going to hit it right exactly at bar 14. So I go to slip mode and I click right before it. So when I punch in, it gives me a teeny bit of space so I don't have to be exactly on the beat. And I'm going to command spacebar. It's going to give me one bar pre-roll and I'm going to go to the A minor. So Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to major tone. Ignition and may God's love be with you. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, make my screen big again and I'm going to take those notes, the new stuff I played, and I can just take the whole track and highlight it and option zero to quantize and I'm going to hit apply and now I've got all the way up until the um, the papers want to know whose shirt you wear, the, the what we're calling the chorus. I'm going to delete what I did before and say, I want to show you right here where I hit this A minor. I think it would be better an octave lower. So how do I do that? I'm going to highlight just those notes and watch this. I'm going to go to the options, uh, sorry, event, and I'm going to go to, uh, let me find it where it is. It's uh, under event operation, ah, uh, transpose. It's option T. And then it comes up and it says, you know what? Let's move this down one octave, just these two notes. So let me undo that so you can see it. I just have those two notes highlighted 
and I went like that. So now when we hear this, take your protein pills and put your health better. So we're going to do the same thing over here to this A minor. And I'm going to say we don't have to do anything. We just have to highlight it and hit apply. And then we're done transposing. Let's stop there. And then let's uh, y'all punch in your bass part into course one. And then we're going to come back and do the keyboard part.